All right. Yes, we are live. All right. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to all our audience. And I'm very excited to bring to you this uh, webinar called Basics of Freelancing and Taking the First Bold Steps. And so welcome to our webinar. This webinar is recorded for the newbies and uh, to those who want to become freelancers, to those who are interested to become a freelancer. Ayan. Siya ko lang kung nagre-record tayo. Alright, good. In this webinar, um, we will be answering the most basic questions of some people who are interested to work from home. Ayan. So, umpisahan na natin. Let me just click on present. Alright, so I just wanted to um, provide some housekeeping rules agad no, before we start the the webinar if you are watching this and uh your facebook is on or you you know um i wanted you to put away all kinds of distractions at the moment okay um this is um a webinar that we really prepared for you guys and we wanted you to learn from it even though it's basic even though it's the most basic of all but this can really help you in order for you to assess if freelancing is really for you. And um, if you are here, but, um, you know, hindi ka masyadong focused, or you're logging into your um, to your clients, if, uh, you know, if, if you're a newbie yet you already have a client, or you're watching TV at the side or something, please drop everything, all right? And uh, I wanted you to be really, really focused on this webinar. You can get it um, for free. Now this webinar is free. You can we can you can grab uh, the link from our YouTube channel, from the pinned post, from our website. So I wanted you to really be ready when you are watching the webinar. Okay, so if you're ready and we're good to go, I wanted to congratulate you in your first step in taking control of your life. I am so welcome to work from home life. Okay, so welcome to online Filipino freelancers as well. Okay, so before we um, before we move on to these um, to these stats, we always get the question, um, the most common question. Kaya siguro namin ginawa tong webinar na to is that the common question is, I am a graduate of, for example, engineering. I am a graduate of um, accountancy. I am a nurse. I am a teacher. Or let's say I'm an undergrad or I'm a high, a high school graduate. But I've heard of freelancing. Let me on. Um, since sabi nila na naririnig namin yung work from home na yan. So, hindi ko alam kung paano kami, paano ako magsisimula. Right? In the threads in online Filipino freelancers, um, I think that's 90% of the question. Uh, hindi ko alam kung saan, kung ano bang gagawin ko. <laughs> ano ba yes, narinig ko yung work from home. Nakikita ko yan, no? You know the idea that working from home is really good, but you don't know where to start. Ayan. Kaya namin binuo itong webinar na to, uh, Basics of Freelancing for the Members of Online Filipino Freelancers Community. Ayan. So, we know that working from home is the new trend. All right. According to um, the data that we have gathered, the sources um, from uh, on this graph and uh, on this data would be from Payoneer and Tech in Asia. All right. So according to the to the data, there are fifty three million freelancers in America alone. All right. That data is as of twenty sixteen. And um, according to this data, by twenty twenty. 50% daw of U.S. workforce will be freelancers. And this doesn't mean that they have full, they're, they're full-time freelancers, all right? But one of every two workers will be in this capacity, all right? And in the Philippines alone, we have estimated 2 to 3 million freelancers today. And 60% of them are in Metro Manila. All right. So these are the stats that we have gathered. Again, um, credits to Payoneer for for the data that we have. I also would like to um, announce that 
uh, today is January 20, 2018, as I am recording this, we will be releasing a survey for all the freelancers um, of our group. And hopefully you can also spread the word to other communities that we will be um, conducting a survey uh, t to get the most recent data or most recent update from the freelancers. Ilan na ba tayo ngayon? And um, what's the common problem? Um, everything. What's the average rate of a freelancer? Uh, what's the struggle? And uh, um, all the th all the questions that uh, that we can think of for the freelancing community. So I hope you guys answer that. If you are here and uh, you are a seasoned freelancer and you are listening to this webinar also, you know, just for a refresher or something, um, I would really encourage you to to answer that survey okay all right so there you go so in a nutshell um working from home is really a new trend and uh, it's becoming popular um not only in the philippines but the entire world all right and um, also in the philippines we're getting attention probably um you're a newbie and anito asa webinar na to um narinig mo yung work from home from abs-cbn you know, um, because some of the freelancers have been interviewed by the media. Na working from home is really, is really good, and uh, there are so many advantages of, um, you know, of being in this industry. We're also getting the traction um, from the Senate, as you know that uh, there are bills. Na I think they're passed um, in in the Senate. Now there are laws covering um, freelancers and uh, th the aim is to protect um, the freelancers and the freelancing community however hindi masyadong focus talaga sa freelancing yung mga laws na nai-implement or i-implement so but but in general um, working from home is the new trend and also we're getting all the attention from the media and also from the government Right, and probably because of those, um, uh, you know, from those trends, kaya ikaw din mismo na discover mo how to work from home or the the online Filipino freelancers community. Okay, and yeah, you are here in this webinar because you are also asking the very same question: How do I do this? How do I become a freelancer? And so. Let's go ahead and welcome you first to our community and welcome to online Filipino freelancers. We are the largest and uh, one of the most active community for the Filipinos and we are now, as of this recording, we have um, 95,000 members and uh, we are founded just in 2015. And so the reason why we have this kind of community is that we need all the help that we can get and that's... That's really the essential of, um, you know, of this uh, of this group. Um, you will get all the help that you need, and you will also pass help to other people. And that's why we have been established, and that's why we're very successful. All right. So welcome to off. All right. So on this webinar, I just wanted to cover some um, housekeeping again. Now these are the things that I will cover, just to set your expectations. Na okay, ah, uh, ito yung ito yung na cover, ito hindi to na cover. All right. So on this webinar, I will be discussing these eight topics. Number one, we will be defining the freelancer, what it is, by definition. Number two, um, the basic that you must have, the basic tools that you must have as a freelancer. Number three, what skills do you need? And then, where to find your clients and where you can get your jobs. How can you get paid as a freelancer? Um, the benefits and taxes. And uh, we will also present you the good and the bad side of the freelancing. You know, the, the reality of, uh, of being a freelancer. And then, the last question is, is this for you? Alright? So, I will not cover naman the how-tos. Like, for example, how to land on a job, how to write cover letters, how to get your um, profiles in platforms, how you can become, how, how can become a, a certified VA, how to create your PayPal or your Payoneer account, and the other how-tos, no? This webinar is only for one hour. I, I try to um, be concise and really make it 
or less than an hour kasi if it's too long baka naman mabore no baka mabore yung yung audience so hanggang hanggang doon lang muna and then for the follow ups we will have you know um series of webinars naman and uh, you can always ask in the community plus of course um there are topics which are very self explanatory and you can have google <laughs> you know as your friends for example how to create an account in prof uh, i'm sorry your profile in upwork or how to create a paypal account these are um topics that can be answered naman uh, via google and there are so many articles and blogs out there that are created by fellow freelancers so just go ahead and research on those plus they're also available naman sa off so yeah a lot of resources all right so before we move on to the entire uh, webinar i'd like to introduce myself my name is cj and i am your community manager i'm the founder of uh, online filipino freelancers um, I'm introducing myself for, of course, for the newbies na hindi pa nakakilala at mga bagong members lang natin. You know, so, um, I began my freelancing journey in 2011. So, I'm a, I'm a freelancer, digital nomad for six years now. Um, I had my Upwork clients. I also had experience to, to have direct clients. And um, I finally achieved my, my financial freedom back in 2016. When I say financial freedom, um, I meant uh, na ako kumukuha ng clients. You know, you can, um, I can, I can travel or I can also focus on my business. I can, I can do whatever I want. <laughs> financial freedom and time freedom, most importantly, I can, I can spend the entire day. Na it's my call. You know, I'm not tied to any projects anymore. Yun. and um, because of that, I am also. Uh, I'm a successful affiliate marketer. I have experience on that. And uh, I'm also an entrepreneur now. So I'm a freelancer and an entre- entrepreneur at the same time. And I'm I'm devoting most of my time now um, in Amazon. I do have a store there and Shopify stores as well as a dropshipper. And so um, I'm presenting myself because I'll be, you know, talking in the, for the rest of the be- webinar. I just wanted you to to really gauge, you know, the level of authority. Like, sino ba tong nagsasalita na to? <laughs> is she really an authority or is she capable of really discussing this to me? Ayan. So, there. Freelancer for six years. Alright? So, let's get started. A freelancer, by definition, is... A freelancer is a self-employed... Um, who's offering services usually to businesses and often to multiple clients at a time all right so that's the key let's read it again to multiple clients at a time because you are a freelancer all right so it the, the type of work of a freelancer usually varies um yeah and so we can we can see that you can be involved in marketing social media copywriting um blog post tech support web programming design graphic financial support virtual assistant you name it malawak ang isang ang ang trabaho ng isang freelancer right there's so many jobs out there that you can really perform all right so matanong natin no ano ba yung mga basic na kailangan ko as a freelancer well number 1 of course you're going to need a working laptop or desktop I am not a techie person, so hindi ko alam yung mga specs talaga na kailangan or yung mga terms. No, but uh, we have admins and uh, a lot of technical, you know, techie people inside the group where um, these people can assist you. What are the uh, names na kailangan? I7 ba yan? Uh, ilang RAM? Ilang gigabyte? Ganyan. So, but for me... Uh, in the non-techie world, what I can say is that, lalo na kapag nagsisimula ka pa lang and web-based naman yung mga, yung mga tools mo, I think, uh, yung kahit yung very basic lang, para lang makapagsimula ka as a freelancer, alright? Some, some freelancers as well, they do uh, rent, no? Nandun sila sa computer shops, and, uh, yun. Pero, habang nag-iipon sila, meron silang clients sa computer shop, at nakap, pag nakaipon na sila ng pera enough for them to have their own computers then well and good right so for me if you can if you if you have somebody na uh, who can lend you 
uh, a laptop, ganyan, or I don't know, Chromebook siguro kapag very light lang yung project mo or simple data entry, ganyan. But you really must have this, okay? Hindi pwedeng cellphone lang or smartphone, tapos okay na. No, if you really wanted to be very serious about your freelancing career and later on, you will know that it is a very rewarding career in a very rewarding industry, you must really invest on this. Okay, so pasimula, kahit light lang muna, hindi masyadong kamahalan, then invest on your tools. Number two that you need to have is, of course, internet service. Um, sabi nga natin, uh, basta may internet, uh, may trabaho tayo. No? So, hindi pwedeng wala yan. Kasi kahit may laptop ka man, kung hindi ka nakakonect sa internet, uh, it's really a must kasi th- those These two are combination na kailangan ng isang freelancer. Now, hin- we always recommend wired wired connection like PLDT, um, Sky, Broadband, uh, ano pa ba? Globe, and um, Sun, I guess. Meron na, no? Yun. Um, pocket Wi-Fi's are there for backup just in case magkaroon ng outage or brown out. Uh, o kaya mabagal yung, yung main... Um, connection mo, you can have pocket Wi-Fi, but definitely we recommend uh, wired connection. Okay? Um, ano pa ba? Ayun, uh, you really need to invest on these two. Uh, pangatlo is uh, a headset. You really have to have this as well. Especially, um, well, not not really a must, but most of the time, kasi you're gonna need this. Why? Um, for interviews. If your client wants to interview you via Skype and uh, they wanted to, you know, have an an audio interview, not necessarily videos, but for audio lang, just for them to hear you. Especially if you are from BPO and you wanted to um, transition from becoming a call center agent to to the freelancing or to working from home. Um, definitely, it's a plus na naririnig ka ng client mo, you know, your accent, how you communicate. So definitely, you need a working headset. What kind of headset? Um, I would say kahit ano, <laughs> kahit very cheap. To be honest with you, um, I started with CDR King uh, headsets as well. For as long as it's working, you know. Um, but later on, of course, if, if it's gonna be needed in the job, kung kailangan talaga yung mga may noise canceling uh, mic, yes, you can you can also invest on that. Like Logitech, mga ganyan, A4 Tech, um, mga ganong websites, no? But, I, I'm sorry, not website, uh, headset. What am I thinking? Yun, um, mga ganong klaseng headsets. But for now, if you don't have the budget for that, I think that's, um, those headset costs about 2,000, 1,000 pesos and above. Pero kung hindi talaga kaya, at least yung mga very simple headsets, just to begin with, okay? Para lang panimula. And then, once you're ready, once you have enough money, then you can invest to a more expensive one. And then, you also need a quiet zone. Um, why quiet zone? Because, um, for example, the the client will have an interview with you. You know, hindi pwede yung uh, a lot of freelancers have experience na may tumitilaok na manok. <laughs> Lalo na kapag ka, ang, ang role mo is appointment setter. Now, you, you, you call in behalf of your client or you do appointment setting you call real estate you you call customers ganyan um sales uh technical support customer service mga ganyan usually uh, kailangan talaga natin quiet yung environment natin some freelancers they even provide like um soundproof na wall no nag-invest talaga sila doon kapag yung area nila may mga maiingay na manok <laughs> mga tricycle mga aso ganyan so sometimes kasi uh, in, in the level of professionalism of course ayaw naman ni client ng naririnig yung mga ganun na for example think about it this way um your clients will hire you and then uh in order to call in their behalf Diba? Parang ikaw yung VA nga nila, ikaw yung assistant nila. So, kapag narinig ng client, ng client mo na may nagtitilaok na manok, <laughs> diba? Parang it's awkward. So, there, you need to really have your quiet zone. Um, also, if you're a writer or if you're doing um, programming, syempre mahirap naman yung uh, masyadong maingay yung background natin. Alright? So, in summary, these are the tools that you must have, at least the very basic that you must have to become a freelancer. Alright? 
Okay, so aside from those, um, what we call the tangibles, there are also three most important things that you need to survive as a freelancer, right? So what are those? Number one is your skill. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then also your mindset. We'll talk about that as well. And also your why. And when we say why, um, what's the reason why you wanted to become a freelancer? And you have to answer that um, on your own and um, really genuinely assess kung bakit gusto mong maging isang freelancer. Because um, as you know, and I think, you know, in, in our community, you would always hear this, that freelancing is not really easy. It's a tough decision, but it's very rewarding at the end. Okay? So, if you don't know your why, like, ah, gusto ko lang naman kumita ng dollars, or, uh, wala lang, kasi sabi nila, cool daw yan eh, astig daw yung mga, yung mga freelancers, something like that. If you haven't determined the very reason why you wanted to really become a freelancer, you will be shaky, you know? I mean, it's gonna be easy for you to give up because freelancing is definitely a very competitive um, industry now. Hindi na siya kagaya ng datin. Ay, mabilis naman pumasok kasi konti lang yung mga freelancers before. But now that um, every day and every, every year, talagang ang daming gumagawa ng mga account, gusto nila maging freelancer, at the end of the day kasi you're gonna give up pag nahirapan ka na, too much, too much um, hard work or after a month or two, wala ka pa rin client but you're, you know, you keep on applying. If you don't have the very strong why, why are you doing this? At para kanino ka bumabangon, uh, definitely, babalik ka na lang sa, you know, sa dati mong trabaho and whatever, whatever your, your aspirations may be as a freelancer, um, may it be because of the high earning jobs that we have. Madali kasing mag up pag ganun lang yung reasons mo eh. You know, if, if it's just the money. So, really determine your why. The skills and the mindset, we're gonna, we're gonna be talking about that in a minute. Okay? So, ito yung common questions natin sa, sa online Filipino freelancers and sa community. What are the available jobs for me? if I want to become a freelancer. Ayan. So, pansinin natin yung newbie thread. Yan yung common question. The, I'm graduate of this course. Ano kayong pwedeng job sa akin? Alright? So, we have compiled the different job opportunities for you if you wanted to become a freelancer. Alright? Number one, um, you can be part of web, mobile, and software development. Alright, so these are the available jobs that you have. Please read along. So we have um, desktop, software development, game dev, e-commerce development, web and mobile design, software development, QA and testing. If you are familiar with any of these, basis sa course na kinuha mo, definitely um, freelancing is also for you because we have a lot of these. And according to um, Payoneer Freelancer Income Survey for 2018, um, the average hourly rate of freelancers on this area, uh, they are $21 an hour. All right? So $21 an hour sa mga ganitong klase ng niche. All right? So if, if this is familiar for you, give it a try. Okay? Another one is IT and networking. By the way, these um, jobs that are uh, um, that I am presenting to you right now, these are available in Upwork, um, freelancer.com, onlinejobs.ph. You can also find direct clients and also in Craigslist. So let's go ahead and check no, isa-isa and any mga available jobs uh, for, for you. Second is IT and networking. And so if you're a graduate of IT, you can be on one of these um, available uh, jobs. No? These are available for you. And again, according to the survey, the average hourly rate of IT and networking in the freelancing community, it's $21 an hour. And so, and um, according to the Payoneer survey, professionals in IT and programming, they hold the highest level of 
income satisfaction. Ayan. Mga happy freelancers itong mga ito. <laughs> Ayan. So, let's just go ahead and compute, no? Ano ba yung, ilan ba yung $21 an hour? So, if we will, if we will compute $21 an hour times, sabi natin, 50 pesos. As of this recording. Um, that's $1,050. All right? Per hour yan. $1,050 per hour. If you work 8 hours a day, that is 8,400. Tama ba yung math ko? <laughs> Hindi ako masyadong magaling sa math. But I think so. So, $21 times 50 times 8. Yes. It's 8,000. Roughly 8,000 a day. Alright? Cool, right? Amazing. Yan. So, uh, ganyan po yung average hourly rate. This rate is not only in the Philippines, but in general. Um... U.S. freelancers, uh, U.K., Australian, Asian freelancers, it doesn't matter. Um, so, so long as kaya mong gawin yung mga ganitong klaseng trabaho, you can charge as much as that. And yun nga, average pa lang, naba? So you can even charge more if you're an experienced freelancer. Ayan. For engineering and architecture, these are the available jobs for you. Uh, the average hourly rate is also $21. Okay? For writing jobs, ayan, so the hourly rate naman ng writers are $16 an hour. Average. But you can definitely charge more. Ayan. So you have um, academic writing. You can be a copywriter. You can also edit, proofread, um, write resumes and cover letters. You can also do blogging, which is uh, one of the most popular and highest paid and very rewarding as well. And also creative writing. So any type of writing, kahit ebook, uh, ano pa ba? Basta for as long as you are writing something, you have a slot or you have a space in the freelancing industry. And the demand is really high. Okay? Translation, uh, $16 an hour. Okay. Uh, design and uh, creative multimedia. Ayan, kung magaling ka sa Photoshop, magaling ka mag-drawing, you know how animation work, uh, ano pa ba? Ayan, logo, design branding, photography, multimedia production. Yes. So, $20 an hour for, for this niche. Okay. We also have something for the lawyers. Ayan. Ito medyo malaki eh. Uh, the hourly rate is uh, $28 an hour. Ayan. So, if you have lawyers na kakilala who wants to become freelancers, ayan. Paralegal. Ayan. Okay? Okay. So, admin and customer support. Uh... Many people fall on this category, especially for those newbies. Uh, for data entry, you know, uh, when you type or encode or convert Word to PDF, something like that. Data entry, project management, web research. A lot of clients are looking for these people. Um, customer service, technical support. So also for call center agents, customer um uh, what do you call this? Call center supervisors, managers who want to transition to becoming a, a home-based um, freelancer. We have a lot of room for you. Dito rin na I'm uh, I'm from one of the BPOs in the country. Ayan. So we have an edge. Kasi pag marunong ka nang makipag-usap sa client, you know how to do customer service, you know how to deliver customer satisfaction, you know how to compose an email and, um, you know, speak na neutral accent, definitely, definitely, um, meron kang slot and meron kang magiging position in, in the work from home uh, world, ganyan. <laughs> okay. Excuse me. Next is accounting. Ayan, $19 an hour. Uh, okay. So, marami pa, no? Hin yun yung mga common na nakikita natin sa sa Upwork also social media hindi ko na banggit din social media marketing um yun yung mga in demand ngayon na Facebook ads e-commerce um sa Amazon sa so drop shipping if you're an e-commerce VA so there are so many so many jobs um that are available to us for as long as, um, what, why don't you go ahead and visit the, the platforms now? Um, Upwork, freelancer.com, um, onlinejobs.ph, and marami pa Fiverr. 
um, try to visit those websites and then you can see for yourself na, ah, ito kaya ko tong gawin. Uh, this, is, um, this is something that I think I can do. Kahit, uh, you know, medyo hindi kataasan yung rate, but definitely just to start up. Alright? So, now, if if you're one of those and nakita mo yung sarili mo kanina na, ah, yeah, I can do that. I think I can do that. Or web research, right? Or data entry. Okay. So, where do you find these jobs? Number one, to, um, through platforms, right? When we say platform-based clients, ito yung mga may websites like Upwork. We keep saying this kanina pa, right? And many others. Um, there are, there are um, articles which provide... Uh, the different kinds of platforms, tutorial platform like 51 Talk, uh, marami pa no, yung mga nagtuturo ng ESL. Um, these are also freelancers because you, you can definitely do this at home. And so there are platform-based clients like this. But they also, um, what do you call this? Meron silang, meron silang cut or commission. Like for example, in Upwork, uh, w- when you're a starting freelancer, you get um, they will cut like 20%. Uh, may 5%, may 10%, no? So, I think it's just justifiable that these um, platforms do get commissions. Like, they're sort of agencies. Kasi clients nila yun eh, diba? uh, they're The clients and you meet in their website, in their uh, in their platforms. And I think it's just okay for them to to get some commission because website nila yun. And dun sila kumikita. When, when they meet to two worlds you know the need for the freelancer and the need to find jobs and you can find them there you can also find them um, in linkedin and also craigslist uh, these are direct clients naman so they the clients will directly hire you as a freelancer um, direct referral from your friends and your from colleagues and also from communities like off for example um the freelancer wants to um Hire, or for example, yung client niya is looking for a freelancer uh, or a VA. So instead of posting it in a work, um, the the freelancer would just post it in the communities. They will just post it in off. Kasi, um, pag pag pinost yun sa Upwork or pag pinost yun sa iba ng platforms, even the other nationalities, they would find it. No? But when you go directly to communities like off, makakatulong ka pa sa kapwa mga Filipino. And from time to time, we are getting um, job hirings ng mga posts sa ating community. Even the agencies, they also post in in off. So, yun. There's, that's another avenue for you to find jobs. Okay? Does it make sense? Malinaw ba yung ating um, discussion? So, nasagot na natin yung tanong, what are the available jobs for you? And marami pa yun, no? those, those that I mentioned are just examples. I got those from Upwork and uh, from Payoneer as well. But there will be so much more um, funny jobs that you can imagine. Makikita mo rin sila doon. So, uh, what I can really suggest is to find a good platform and then you create a profile and then you start looking for jobs yourself okay para makita mo talaga uh, ah ito pala yon ganito pala yung sinasabi ng client and then the job description itself what exactly are they looking for and what rates um can they provide for you and then you can negotiate okay try niyo lang try niyo lang mag uh, magawa ng uh, ng profile even in linkedin try applying so, you can get your, your feet wet and makita mo na, ah, ganito pala talaga sa freelancing. Okay? Okay? So, move on na tayo. Now, how do we get paid as a freelancer? Um, there are two ways now. Uh, for example, in, in Upwork. Upwork, as I we keep mentioning it because it's the highest, I mean, it's the largest um, freelancing platform thus far up, up, up to this date, no? And, uh, well, Marami parang mga ibang um, platforms then available, but also with the same system. So, let's take Upwork, for example. So, when you get hired from Upwork, you can create three, uh, th- you can get paid three ways. Number one is through Payoneer. You can create a, a Payoneer account and you can direct it to or link it to Upwork. You can also get paid via PayPal. And you can also get paid by a, a via local fund transfer. I'll explain each, each one of those. Okay, so Payoneer and PayPal, 
um, link it to Upwork, and then you have to transfer the funds from your Upwork, say, kumita ka na, meron ka ng, uh, nagbayad na si client, no, na mag withdraw ka na, transfer it to Payoneer and PayPal, and then, um, after that, the, um, transfer it to BDO, Union Bank, or whatever bank you have, any bank, that's one of the other um, common questions that we have. What is the best bank for a freelancer? I would say, kahit ano naman. Um, although, syempre, ang pinakamarami, most common banks ng, ng freelancers are BDO, BPI, Eon, ngayon, Union Bank. And we can talk about payments all day long, no? but we're just um, providing you the very basic on how to get paid. This is just an idea na. How, paano ba sila binabayaran? Alam mo yun, paano ba kumikita yung isang freelancer from from someone with zero perspective for someone who has zero knowledge? This is the answer, okay? So, from this platform, you create um, accounts through this and local fund transfer is, sorry, local trans, local fund transfer meaning um, from a port directly to your bank account. There's also a way to do that. Um, fees... And how fast is the transfer or the advantages on each and everything? Ang haba niyan. Uh, may sumahaba yung discussion. Maybe we can just um, reserve that for uh, for a different time. And we also have um, other articles naman that the other, free, um, other freelancers have created. So we can also read that. Uh, so many resources out there available for you. Hi. Um, ganun din. So, when you're also hired through freelancer.com, onlinejobs.ph, Fiverr, um, other other platforms, ganun din yung setup. You can also create your pay in your account and PayPal and then direct it to your bank account. Just a side promotion. Um, Off is also um, an affiliate partner of Payoneer. So, we highly suggest that you can, um, you know, use the affiliate, official affiliate link ng, ng online Filipino freelancers ng off via Payoneer. And uh, whenever you use that, um, we give, you know, uh, from time to time, we give laptops, we we give uh, promos, you know, we give away laptops, printers, cell phone, and cash <laughs> sa mga freelancers. And as a way of saying thank you for for using our affiliate link. Ayan. And uh, Payoneer also is um, sponsoring us with every event na ginagawa ng mga freelancers. So we definitely recommend that you use the link because they also, in return, are helping the communities like us. Okay. All right. So another way to get paid is uh, through direct clients. So if you have a direct client, they can also pay you directly through your bank account and they can also pay you through Western Union, um, Smart Padala, I guess, and Zoom. There's marami pang mga other um other transfers that the clients do pay directly, but these are the most common na nakikita natin. All right? Does it make sense? So, hirap na walang kausap. <laughs> As I'm just um, recording this webinar for you guys. Okay. Next. So, what about benefits and your taxes? Ayan, pag-usapan natin to. This is purely voluntary. Okay. So, from your, um, uh, from your employee status, you will um, update your record and change your status to voluntary or self-employed. Uh, and also for you know for tax for SSS for pag-ibig for PhilHealth, ayan. So this is something that is uh, I can't say it's it's a bad side of freelancing because it's very easy naman din to do. Before magzo mahirap dahil uh, magtatanong tanong pa kami sa isat isa like how do you really do do this? But now since a lot of freelancers are already paying taxes, a lot of freelancers are paying SSS and Pag-ibig and PhilHealth, they have created blogs um, to assist another freelancer. Like, how do you do it step by step? So, all you need to do is just find those articles and do it yourself. Okay? Hindi na siya mahirap. Plus, it's a one-time big time. For example, for PhilHealth, you pay annually. I think it's just 1200 uh, for payment. So, that's it. And forget about it. I mean, covered ka na for the entire year. All right? So, with this, with so many 
um, advantages of becoming a freelancer. This is something na, yeah, parang hindi ka sanay, no? Kasi before, siguro sa payslip mo, automatic deduction na yung tax, automatic deduction yung SSS, but now you really have to do it yourself. But guess what? Um, kumpara sa maraming benefits na makukuha mo as a freelancer, which we're gonna discuss in a few minutes, um, you know, it's really nothing. It's it's a small effort on your part to do it. Plus, also for tax, um, we have Taxumo. Uh, that's one good partner of freelancers where they can help you in filing your taxes. So there, and ang daming mga um, lumalabas na mga uh, what do you call this industries who who can really help us make our freelancing life a lot easier okay so there you go and if you have questions about this uh we have a lot of threads and off and we can always answer you okay all right so pasok na tayo sa good sides of being a freelancer ryan so eto na yung mga reasons kung bakit bakit pinipili namin na maging freelancer bakit ako for six years nandito pa rin ako <laughs> and um so many freelancers as well that they would they would choose freelancing in heartbeat na hindi na sila babalik sa corporate job you know so ito yan ito yung mga good sides number one, you can start as early as today right you can start now if ever you already have the skills like what we mentioned kanina nakita mo yung yung list of jobs right ah i can do that marunong ako ng transcription kaya kong mag customer service kaya kong gumawa ng logo you can start as early as today there's no one stopping you, all right? There are freelancers who can get clients in just about a week. And that's the good side of being a freelancer. Um, very, very easy to start. Number two, it's uh, it offers flexibility, all right? You dictate your own hours. So, for example, 40 hours a week is like um, five days of work and eight hours a day. So, if you're someone who wanted it to go full-time na talaga, no, um, mag full-time freelancer na ako, sure na, yes, you can find um, clients who have, uh, who are looking for, for freelancers uh, to start full-time. Okay? And you can actually, you know, um, I have a lot of experience like that na mag interview kami today, no? Hire ka rin niya today. <laughs> Start ka na tomorrow. Ganun siya kabilis. Um, so, you can also set your your hours say 20 hours lang muna uh, mayroon ka pang job on the side tinitingnan ko lang muna yung freelancing hindi pa ako sure eh parang ganun so you can set it as part time 5 hours lang muna or 2 hours 3 hours you can also do project basis naman okay so mayroon tayong tinatawag na hourly or fixed price hourly is you charge by the hour for example um 5 hours ka a day so you charge um, for example, five dollars yung yung starting mo. Five dollars an hour times five hours. Kinoon. So kada oras yung log in mo. But there are also projects which are fixed price. For example, you charge one thousand dollars. I'm gonna do this for you, client, for one thousand dollars. Or I can do this for one hundred dollars. Fixed price yun. Project yun na ibibigay mo. You you deliver your result. You deliver um, the project to him, and then after na approve ni client, paid ka. Fixed price. Okay, hindi siya per oras. And you can also be hired um, with uh, by multiple clients. Okay? So, for example, hindi, yun, that's the beauty of being a freelancer. Hindi ka nakukulong sa isang, um, sa isang client lang. You can have as many clients as you want provided that you you still can deliver. Okay? And, um, wag mo naman din pabayaan yung clients mo na just because of the money, you know, let's be honest about it, now, some freelancers wanted to to have multiple multiple clients. Well, para saan nga naman? Di ba? Para makaipon. Para, para mabili agad yung kotse, mabayaran agad yung loan ng house or something like that. But, we have to make sure that we also deliver um, quality um, output sa clients natin. But, definitely, definitely, you can have multiple clients. Right? So, that's the beauty of becoming a freelancer. It offers you a lot of flexibility. You can also fire clients, you know. Um, uh, you can interview them as much as they interview you. You can ask questions before you start with the project. Okay? Another is low startup costs. Okay? So, like like what we mentioned kanina, the basic must-have tools is, uh, is just that um, PC internet connection and your own space and that's it you're all set 
we consider freelancing as a business. You are your own brand. You're an entrepreneur. And compared to the other entrepreneurs, this has the lowest startup costs because that's everything you have, eh. Especially if you already have PC at home, diba? Marami naman sa atin, may mga computers na talaga sa bahay and laptops. And uh, you already have internet connection, that's it. You can start now. As in, today. <laughs> you can definitely do it. And then, uh, one good side is... um. There's really high demand for us, for freelancers. As we mentioned, by 2020, talagang mag increase yung freelancers all over the world, not only in the U.S. We can, we can definitely predict that. Because a lot, of, um, a, a lot of clients want freelancers. Why? Very low, low din yung budget nila. They just have to hire someone virtually. Hindi nila kailangan umupa ng office. You know, they don't have to pay rent. They don't have to pay for your benefits. They don't have to pay for, um, like, janitorial services who will clean the entire building, diba? And uh, most of the call centers now in, in the U.S., they have small BPOs, freelancing type. That's why there are so many agencies in, in the Philippines nowadays. So, ganun yung, yung, ganun yung setup niya. Mas cheaper yun. And that, be- the reason being that it's cheaper, so many demand. There's so much demand for freelancers. Okay? Alright. And this one is a cool side of it. You get paid in dollars. <laughs> Alright? Ayan. So, yun nga lang, kapag tumaas or bumaba yung uh, amount ng dollars, affected yung freelancer. Ayan. But anyway, number six, uh, you can also work anywhere in the world. Yeah? You can go to Boraca, you can go to Cebu, Palawan, even outside the country, you can go ahead and travel. Alright? Nadala mo yung laptop mo. For as long as you have internet connection and you have your laptop, you can bring your work with you. That's the beauty of it. Hindi mo kailangan mag in ng 9 to 5 and just be stuck in, in one place for the rest of the, the shift. You can do it while working. I mean, you can do it while traveling. Yeah. Number seven, I really like this. It's uh, work with your kids and never miss any of their milestones. Yeah. If you're a new mom or, um, you know, may mga recitals yung kids and uh, they have to, you have to be there and susunduin yung kids sometimes for their practices. You can wait uh, somewhere or go to Starbucks or something like that, but you can definitely not miss any of the milestones of your kids. And we've seen a lot of freelancers like this. Um, you know, while they're working, katabi nila yung mga anak nila, like me, right now, I'm recording this video, but I can see my kids. Um, you know, uh, hindi, hindi mo kailangan mag-worry kung may sakit ba sila, or kasi nakikita mo sila, as in, malapit na malapit sila sa'yo. This is one of the perks of becoming a uh, work-from-home mom and dad na hindi mo talaga may pagpapalit. This is very priceless for us, and a lot of people I know can relate to that. Number eight is goodbye traffic. Ayan. So, imagine that you are traveling. Um, let's say you devote two hours from your house going to your office. Another two hours pabalik. Plus also the time of preparation. It it would take like about, give or take, five to, to six or seven hours a day. Nakakonsume ng just traveling and also the the heavy traffic we have now especially in metro manila you cannot experience this anymore you know goodbye to this and also um yung mga flood diba pag bumabagyo minsan immortal tayong mga empleyado but in the freelancing setup you can definitely say goodbye to those you can log in at the comfort of your home just get coffee or chocolate hot chocolate and then you can start working amazing right Yes, yeah, so that's why we love freelancing. These are the good sides of it. Another one is, there's no more dress code. <laughs> and you can work in your pajama. So, wala namang nakakita sa'yo. Um, while I am recording this as well, now I'm in my pajama. And uh, no more suklay, no more makeup. <laughs> but syempre may ligo naman. <laughs> Ayan, so, no more dress code. And no age limit or disability restrictions. You know, um, there are freelancers who are in wheelchair, but they can do blogging. 
there are um, freelancers who are 60 years old, but they can do writing. They can also do customer service. Amazing, right? So these are the perks that we have as freelancers and we will take it in a heartbeat. Kahit gaano pa kahirap maging freelancer, but given all these good side of becoming a freelancer, I think definitely, definitely it's worth a try. Do you agree? <laughs> okay. Now that we have presented the good sides of freelancing, there is so much more. No, mar- marami pa akong mga hindi na banggit, but due to the lack of time, I just wanted this webinar to just be one hour or less. Para hindi man masyadong boring. But there is so much, um, uh, there are so many more reasons to, to choose work from home jobs. Um, but now, let's go ahead and discuss the not so good sides of freelancing naman. Of course, hindi naman lahat positive and positive, no? Uh, there are also things that we need to consider. This is the reality of becoming a freelancer. Number one, your work can also become irregular. That means you can be fired today. So, we have experienced this. Hindi ka freelancer kung hindi mo na-experience to, no? Uh, for example, naka-receive ka na lang ng email that tomorrow wala ka ng trabaho or just immediately right now, you know, the the contract will end. Like, ha, huh, hindi ka na makalog in dun sa, sa, time ni, sa time tracker ni client because the the contract has already ended for so many reasons. But, that's one side of um, freelancing we don't like. <laughs> Work can also be irregular. There are um, remedies naman for this. You can have multiple clients at the same time. Para kahit na mawala yung isa, you can still have um, backup clients. But of course, it de- it really depends. If if um, the work is like 40 hours already, parang mahirap na rin humanap ng additional client. But as you move along and as you develop more skills naman as a freelancer, you will definitely know how to to battle this kind of scenarios. But that's one side. A number uh, number two is building your profile might take a while. Okay, so for example, in Upwork, the client will require a freelancer to have um, one hundred hours or one thousand hours. Those are the only freelancers that they will hire. Um, also, those freelancers who have uh, this high job success or these feedback, yun lang yung iha hire niya. So, of course, ikaw as a newbie. Zero hours ka pa lang, ba? So, para bunuin yung 100 hours na profile, you really have to log in 100 hours that long. But it might take a while, but definitely it's worth it. There are also clients who are willing to give you a try. Kasi there are also clients who are newbie. No? Merong newbie freelancers, merong newbie clients. So, they don't have an idea. So, give them chance as well. Baka naman, itong client na to is someone who will be your long-term client so definitely it's worth a shot but um you know building your profile might take a while but definitely there's a remedy on that number three a freelancer can also have the tendency to become overworked kasi nga nasa bahay ka lang naman so usually lalo yung mga single yung mga hindi pa mommies hindi pa daddies uh they tend to become overworked kasi uh, they can log in for 8 hours to 12 hours a day, hindi na tumatayo, 60 hours a, a week, ganyan. So, be careful. I know some of the seasoned freelancers might be watching this out of curiosity. What webinar is this? So, yeah, if you're here, take care of your health, okay? And take care of yourself. You might become overworked or what we call workaholic. Ayan. And number four, you also have the tendency to procrastinate or there's too much um, distraction at home. Ayan. So, for example, Facebook. <laughs> so, pwedeng nakalog-in ka sa client. At the same time, chinag-check mo yung notification mo sa phone mo. Ayan. So, that's a distraction. Um, Netflix. <laughs> so, sometimes, hindi natin mabigay yung best natin sa, sa client natin because there's so many distraction at home. For example, mag- naglilinis, nagluluto, ba at the same time. Although, these are perks. These are really advantages of uh, advantage of a freelancer. However, it can also be a bad thing if we don't manage correctly. Okay? And, uh, yun, you, for example, may mga bata tayo sa bahay. I'm not saying that they're, well, nakaka-distract naman talaga din kapag ka may mga may mga kids sa bahay, you know. Sometimes, uh, na-feel natin yung hindi tayo 100% focused kay client kasi lalapit si si 
kulit, ganyan si baby. Hihingi ng milk, o kaya uh, he needs to go to the bathroom, ganyan. Or kakalungin mo. I, you can't type na dalawa yung kamay kasi si, si baby nasa isang kamay mo. Eh, mga ganon. Um, though, yeah, it's it's some sort of um, distraction then that we can we can say, no? Um, though we love our kids. But to be honest, sometimes mahirap mag-juggle ng... Um, ng dalawang tasks at the same time when we're at home. Yan, so, naka-on yung washing machine, nagluluto, nagsasaing, habang nakalag in. So, there are too, too many distractions as well. Okay. And number five, uh, one of the bad sides of freelancing is that unhealthy lifestyle. Ayan, tada! <laughs> Because we can r- literally order online, no? Kasi may internet, so one call lang si Jollibee, si Makdo, si Shakey's, and then you're also sitting all day. So, ang tendency, karamihan sa mga freelancers na kinagtatabaan. <laughs> Umamin. Ayan. And then, number six, uh, uncategorized tayo. So, sometimes, a freelancer would want to file tax, pero si BIR ang medyo confused, no? O kaya, sa si BDO Kabayan, mag apply si freelancer, pero hindi alam kung ano ba yung freelancer. O kaya, pag freelancer, medyo um, takot silang tanggapin kasi, ay, unstable naman yung trabaho niya, eh, something like that. But, um, the good thing is, um, in terms of filing taxes, we have a lot of freelancers already who have filed taxes. So, meron silang mga ginawang, uh, some of them made blogs about it, um, the step-by-step process on how they did it. Um, so, there, marami na tayong resources ngayon, unlike before, na talagang pahirapan. But now, unti-unti na siyang nakakilala and unti-unti nang nare-resolve yung mga issues ng mga freelancers. Okay? So, after all the things that I've said, the good and the bad, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready to become a freelancer? Yeah, and so you really have to ask yourself now, are you serious? Is this for you? You think you can do this? If yes, welcome to freelancing. Yeah. And um, as a closing, okay, so this is what I really like. Now, gone are the days where there is a barrier between the first world countries and us Filipinos. Right? So, it doesn't matter now whether you're in the Philippines, whether we're in a third world country. Ang labanan dito yung skills eh. So, if they can earn, remember kanina sa Pioneer Income Survey, that the average freelancer might charge as much as $20 an hour, you can too. It doesn't matter if we're not in the U.S., but for as long as you can compete and you can be even better than someone in the U.S. or in the U.K. or in Australia, you can definitely do this at home, right? Zan mismo, sa bahay mo, right? So it doesn't matter anymore. Parang nawala na yung barrier na yun eh. And um, yun nga, basta magaling ka lang na freelancer. For as long as you have the skills, you can compete we can earn just the same. Um, but of course, there's a caveat to that. It will never be easy now to become a freelancer. It's getting more competitive than ever because a lot of Filipinos are into freelancing as well. Diba? Na, na titivi na nga tayo eh. So, yun, na, kung nababalita na yung freelancing, definitely it's out there. A lot of people are looking into to working from home. Because of all the negative things or, you know, yun nga, traffic. Ayaw na nilang mag-travel ng matagal. So, definitely, and you, listening at this very point, kung inabot mo yung part na to ng webinar, definitely you are interested in becoming a freelancer. And there are so many people like you who wanted to become a freelancer. So, it's not gonna be easy. Remember, it's not only Filipinos na kalaban natin dito, nakakompete natin sa mga, sa mga job bidding. We also have um, Indians. We have everybody in the world. So, it's tougher now, but it's still definitely worth the try because there are also so many clients out there who are willing to try and hire freelancers like you. Okay? Another thing is that never stop learning. Okay? If you're a newbie and if you're just starting with a low rate, yes, understandably, hindi ka pa pwedeng mag-charge ng ganun kataas, lalo na kung wala ka pang profile na nabibuild. 
you can't compete with someone who's earning a lot already because this person has a lot of experience as a freelancer definitely you can't it might be hard you can i mean you can but it might be tough right so it's okay if you, even if you start with low rate but my challenge is that wag naman sobrang baba no kasi yung iba okay na yan sige um you just enough to pay the bills yeah okay sure but remember that um our advocacy as as online filipino freelancers is to really level up the game no um gusto nating makilala sa sa world na ang filipinos is like this we are very competitive as well so help us help us to become like that right and of course never stop achieving new and bigger goals once i mentioned in one of my threads in off that i say one day um the expensive things to you will become cheap it will never be expensive anymore because you need to work hard on it and never stop believing in yourself and never stop learning aral ka lang ng aral if you think that what you can do right now is just data entry and there are so many people who are competing in that in that area hindi mo pa kaya yung you're not really that skilled yet learn okay learn ang daming resources diyan google type the keyword ano yung gusto mong matutunan udemy um even off we are offering a lot of trainings seo trainings um drop shipping amazon i will also be teaching that other freelancers are also um offering their services their help there are so many free resources out there you just have to find them and you just have to be very masipag okay don't be so tamad so don't be so lazy that you know hintayin mo na lang no you really have to develop it and the highest paid freelancers today are those people who really persevere so i want you to remember that before you leave this webinar okay the only thing or person the only one standing between you and your dreams is you okay so there you go it's not the competition you would say saturated na masyado yung freelancing i don't think so it's it's really you There are still freelancers out there who cannot take clients anymore. Sobrang hindi na nila kaya kasi it's very in demand sila eh. So be like that. Gayahin mo yung person na yun. Paano siya naging ganun? Through learnings, you know, he takes probably a lot of courses or a lot of reading, a lot of experimental clients to become like that. He he probably started with a low rate and then tumaas na lang ng tumaas because of the many portfolio. So be that person. Okay? Don't don't ever think na napaka-competitive na ito, ayo ka na wag freelancing. No. The only person standing between that dream and you is just yourself. Okay? Always remember that. Um before I close, I also wanted to promote my other uh workshop. This is what I call the freelancing and your mind. I usually do this sa mga general meetups in uh, Bulacan, Pampanga. Um, meetups i already did this and some parts in the webinar this is more of a personal development and mind setting i wanted to change your mindset because everything boils down to your mind your mind is a very powerful thing na pag ginamit mo siya and utilize mo siya you can do anything you are unstoppable and you can you can be as successful as you wanted to be and earn as much as you want to be uh, or as much as you want to have Okay, um, a lot of freelancers, I have a lot of testimonials as well for those people who took action after um, attending this workshop, Freelancing in and Your Mind, they are now, um, you know, they, they just can't believe it. <laughs> But naging ganun, all of a sudden, naging turning point yun sa buhay nila. So I'm also encouraging you, um, if you want me to do this for you, um, I'll be more than happy to share Freelancing in Your Mind via webinar. Um, please also follow and subscribe our channels. Um, we have a website. It's onlinefilipinofreelancers.com. Aayusin natin siya talaga and we'll, we'll have more contents on this. Please follow also our YouTube channel and this is the Facebook page. This is apart from the um, community that we have. And I also have my own Facebook page, um, CJM Kaholes. Please also follow that because from time to time, I would be dropping some 
um, ideas, be it personal development or freelancing, in my own page. All right. And if you like this webinar, may natutunan ka naman, and you have, you know, you have questions, you felt, you felt empowered after hearing this webinar. Please share your feedback with the community. Um, also, if you have questions, I'm just here. You can ping me. You can also ping any admins. Um, you can also ask on the threads that we have. So there you go. See you in the community. And we're really hoping that this 2018 is a good start for you. You know, take actions. And um, yep, that's everything. <laughs> Welcome to freelancing. Bye for now. Ending the webinar.